I got some new goodies for you guys. Hello, my bestie boos. Welcome back to my channel. I'm the mom Latrice. And today I wanted to share with you guys some new fragrances to my collection. I have one, two, three, four, five, six new Arabian fragrances that I want to share with you guys today. And we're going to get right on into it. Okay. If you like people who keep it real, if you like people who keep it positive and who keep it pushing, then this is the place for you. Now let's get into this video. Okay, first up, let's get into this bottle. This is a beautiful bottle. This is Mason Alhambra's Infinite Rose. The notes on Infinite Rose are bergamot, pink pepper, hedion, Bulgarian rose, Turkish rose, Egyptian jasmine, amber, and Madagascar vanilla. Okay, so I like the sprayer. Y'all, this to me is a spot on dupe of Mancera Rose's Vanille. Mancera Roses Vanille is a cult favorite classic fragrance. I know so many people who are obsessed with that fragrance. Honestly, it's not my, you know, most popular, most loved fragrance, but it is beautiful. Some people say this is also a dupe of Initio's Atomic Rose. I have not smelled Atomic Rose, but if it smells like Roses Vanille, it's very, very pretty. So if you like that fragrance, you will absolutely love this. Like I said, when you first smell this I automatically think of Mancera Roses Vanille. It absolutely is a spot on dupe for Mancera Roses Vanille. It's very very pretty. I would say the lasting power on this is about maybe five to six hours. I sprayed it and I definitely could smell it long into the night. Long into the night. So I sprayed it on my clothes. I sprayed it on my skin. It definitely has some lasting power. The thing I like too about, you know, Arabian fragrances is they get better and better and better with time. So I know this is going to smell even richer, even better in a couple of months. But the pink pepper in here is probably the second thing that I smell. So first I smell that rose. Okay, there's two kinds of roses in here. There's Bulgarian rose and Turkish rose. So I feel like those kind of roses are very strong rosy fragrances sometimes they can lean a little mature i don't think this is a mature fragrance that's not what i'm saying it is a very pretty fragrance but if you're not into rose you are not going to like this okay you are not going to like this at all i do enjoy a rose if it's done well if it's blended well um the jasmine in here is not super strong either um the vanilla i don't even smell that much so i mean Rose's Vanille is not really my thing. It's not really my jam, okay? So I would never spend the coin on it that it costs, okay? I would never buy Atomic Rose and spend that much money on the Initio fragrance. There's other Initio fragrances that I love. There's other Mancera fragrances that I absolutely love. But Rose's Vanille and Atomic Rose, they're not one of them. So that's absolutely why I'm delighted to have this in my collection because it's very very affordable okay so rose fragrances initial mancera prices mm, i think i'll stick with mason alhambra so yeah that's my review on this fragrance i like it i like it a lot but there's something in here that like smells a little minty to me but i also get that from Rose's Vanille. So it has nothing to do with the quality of this particular fragrance. It's just the way those notes are blended. It gives me like a minty vibe that I'm not the biggest fan of. But I have been spraying this. So that says something. I must like it at least a little bit, right? Because I keep spraying it. <laughs> I've sprayed it every day since I've had it. And I think I've had it about a week. Um, I think I first saw this on Paulina Shar's channel when she was um, talking about Arabian fragrances and I had seen it before you know out and about you know on TikTok other people's fragrance channels um, and because I'm not the biggest fan of like rose like strong rose fragrances I almost didn't grab it but for the price point honey it's a win-win situation okay it's a win-win situation and I'm glad I did pick it up because I like it I like it. Next up, we have Latafa Sakina. I love the bottles on these Latafa fragrances. Um, there's Sakina. I also have Haya, which I did talk about. Um, I believe I put this on my December fragrance tray. 
This one is very pretty too. I won't go into a lot of detail because I did talk about this for my December fragrance tray, tray but this one is champagne-y and sweet and fruity. I feel like if you mix Latafa Yara original with um, Parfums the Marley Meliora, you would get this fragrance. It's very, very pretty. And so the sister of this fragrance is Sakina. The bottles are velour. I love the gold and like the, the burgundy wine-ish Merlot color of the bottles. It's so pretty. I really like it. They also have a blue one, which I haven't tried, but I probably will very soon. This fragrance is extremely sweet. So this is a very sweet floral. I feel like you need to wear this in the cooler months. So, you know, November, December, January, this is going to be the time that you're going to want to get your use out of this fragrance because it is very sweet and it can lean sickeningly sweet. I did hear that some people feel like this smells like rotting fruit. Okay. <laughs> I can see what they're talking about now. I kind of like it. I mean, it's not my favorite thing. I kind of like it. It's very pretty. Um, the notes are passion fruit, mandarin orange, ozonic notes, raspberry rose, orange blossom, sea salt, praline, toffee, vanilla, and musk. So I, I get the toffee. I get the praline not very strongly, but when it dries down, I get it a little bit more. I do get the musk in here. It does smell like a very musky fragrance. It dries down very musky. Um, but the opening is very syrupy, fruity, sweet. Okay, so it can be cloying. So watch out for that. If you don't like really sweet, uh, syrupy, thick fragrances, you will not like this at all. So don't even, don't even spend your coin on it. But it was inexpensive like a lot of Arabian fragrances are. So like I said, it's worth a coin. I like it just because of the bottles, honestly. And I think I'll get the blue one just so that I can have the triplets sitting on my perfume stand. Um, but the other thing I was going to mention is that this honestly smells so similar to Ajwa by the Tafa. I feel like these were in the same batch but you know they were made in the same batch but then this is a fruitier sweeter version of Latafa Ajwa now Latafa Ajwa does have like a cold metallic -y feel to it that I'm not the biggest fan of it does have more rose in it as well so Sakina is Latafa Ajwa but sweeter more fruity less metallic so if you liked Ajwad and you didn't like the metallicness of it or the coldness of it and you wanted it more fruity, more sweet, you're going to love Sakina. You're going to love Sakina. But yeah, this is a pretty fragrance. Um, I'm glad I own it. I will be keeping it, but would I buy it again? Probably not. This one is Kissa by Paris Corner. I really, really like this fragrance. Um, I seem to really enjoy pink fragrances. I think every time I've gotten a pink fragrance, I absolutely love it. This one is very pretty. The spray is really good too. I could not find the notes on Fragrantica's website. They may be on Paris Corner's website because this is a Paris Corner fragrance, but I didn't go looking for them. What I can tell you is this smells exactly like Latafa Yara. This smells 100% like Latafa Yara. 100%. The only difference is Kissa Pink does not have the baby powder smell that Latafa Yara has, the original pink bottle. This is a little bit smoother. It's a little bit softer. It hugs closer to the body much more than Latafa Yara. I feel like Latafa Yara projects more Although it does have that powderiness to it that some people don't like. I know a lot of people don't like really powdery fragrances, that baby powder smell. I absolutely love powder and baby powder and all of that stuff, okay? Give it all to me. Give it all to me. But this one, if you don't like that baby powder smell that Yara has, go ahead and give this one a try because it still has the fruitiness of it. It has the femininity of it. It has the vibes of it. It really smells almost exactly like it but just with those minute baby powder differences so yeah this one is really really pretty i have been spraying it a lot i feel like this is a good season for it because it is so soft 
you want like if you're in the house and you have the heater on you don't want something that's super beast mode because the heat is gonna make it like fill up the room and make you know people get choked out and all that stuff but if you don't want that then do this because it's softer like i said it's smoother if you're in the house and it's nice and warm and cozy then you can wear kiss of pink because it's not gonna be offensive to anyone it's very very pretty fragrance and i highly 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 recommend it Okay, these next two I have been super excited about. Like, I have not been this excited for fragrances in a while, uh, in a while. Okay, so the first one, I don't know which one I'm going to talk about first. Which one should I talk about? Okay. Any, me, my, Any, me, my, my. Okay, well, I'm going to talk about this one first. <laughs> I am so indecisive, y'all. Okay, so sometimes I have to do any mini money mode to to make a selection. Okay, this one is uh, okay. This is Harim Al Sultan, the gold perfume. Y'all, do y'all remember when this was going viral on TikTok? Okay, this is the gold oil the sultan gold oil this is beautiful the notes on this are jasmine bergamot peony pineapple peach plum musk patchouli and sandalwood so it's very fruity it's very pretty like it's feminine and sweet okay so this one is absolutely beautiful and i have a whole story about this one how i got a fake one on amazon i had to get my money back and i eventually found the actually the correct one from aroma concepts so I didn't even play around this time. I went on Aroma Concepts and I got this one. Y'all, this is a perfume version. Okay, this is an EDP version. Look at that bottle, you guys. Isn't that so pretty? It's so pretty. I like how they still went with that red jewel concept. These match perfectly. And y'all, oh, look at the top. Let me show you the top. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Oh, that sprayer is nice. Uh, it smells just like the oil. It smells just like the oil. The only difference I would say is the oil is a little bit thicker. It hugs the body more. It stays closer to the skin. It's a little bit denser. This one is more aromatic. This one projects like a bee smell fragrance, honey. You spray this and they're going to smell you like six feet away okay this is a beast the lasting power i have not been able to test the lasting power that much because i actually just got this like two days ago but i wanted to include it in the video because i was so excited but it smells really good it like i said it projects more than the oil it's a beast and so far i feel like it's gonna be good in the lasting power now what i'm going to do is i'm going to put the oil on my skin and then spray this so i know <laughs> I'm gonna be smelling it all day long okay because the oil is going to make this fragrance stick and last but yeah this is so pretty you guys it is a little bit fruitier I would say than the oil it's more airy than the oil is there are no notes for this on Fragranica so I'm not exactly sure but because it is the perfume version of the oil I would assume that the notes are exactly the same uh, I would hope so, right? Because it does, it smells extremely similar. I would say it smells 99% the same, except that this one is just projecting more. It's very peachy, very plummy, very pineapple-y, extremely musky. So it's a very sexy scent. I feel like men would like this, but I would tell you, please don't overspray this because you are going to like suffocate the people around you if you overspray this. But yeah, this one's really pretty. I'm so happy that I have it. Okay, this last one. I am like in heaven, okay? I am in heaven about this last one. This is Paris Corners Car. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. I don't know how to speak other languages, but y'all look at this. I love the bottle on Arabian perfumes. Like they do their packaging wonderfully. Their bottles are always beautiful, aesthetically pleasing. The gold and the green, ugh. I'm living, okay? I live for it. Give it all to me, okay? This is a dupe of you know what, okay? This is Cara Pistachio, and this is absolutely a spot-on dupe of Kayali's Yum Pistachio Gelato. It really is, y'all. That sprayer is everything. 
And I can even see like the droplets of the perfume still in the air, like falling down. That's how you know it has a lot of oil in it. Oh, it smells just like it. It smells just like it. This is a spot on 100%. I mean, nothing's ever 100%, girl. So let's not exaggerate, but I'm going to give it a 99.7. It's a 99.7 dupe. It's good, y'all. The notes on um, pistachio, yum, pistachio gelato, Kaylee's version are so complex. There's like, did like 20 or more notes in that fragrance. Okay. I could not find the notes on this one anywhere, but because it smells exactly the same, I'm going to assume that the notes are the same, right? It has a hazelnut in it. I definitely smell the hazelnut. I definitely smell the pistachio. It smells absolutely delicious. Like I want to just like, I want to drink this. That's how good it smells. It smells like ice cream and vanilla and and it smells like raspberries and peaches. It smells like whipped cream. I smell the marshmallow in here. I smell the cotton candy. I smell the marshmallows. Like this is so fluffy and delectable. Okay, this smells edible. Like I could honestly drink this. Do not drink this. This will make you sick. I have to say that because somebody out there is going to think that this is edible. This is not edible. But baby, you going to smell edible. This is a gourmand lover's dream, okay? You will be in gourmand heaven with this, okay? Now, I will say, like, the original Kayali Yum Pistachio Gelato, I didn't really like it when I first sprayed it. I don't know what it was. Like, it's something in there that reminded me of Skin So Soft from Avon. Did you guys ever have like Skin So Soft from Avon when you were growing up? Like my mom used to sell Avon and uh, she would always put Skin So Soft on us whenever we went, we went outside or we went camping because she said it repelled bugs. And I think it really did work. And so when I smelled um, Kayali's Yum Pistachio Gelato, it reminded me of the smell of Skin So Soft and I was immediately turned off. I was like, I'm not buying this. Absolutely not. And you can tell that one has a lot of oil in it as well. Because when you spray that on you, you can see the sheen on your skin. But yeah, I, I wasn't the biggest fan. But then probably a month or two went by and I kept hearing the hype. And I wanted to love it because I love gourmand fragrances. So I went back into Sephora and I sprayed it again. And y'all, I really liked it. I really liked it. But I didn't like it enough to drop the over $100 that it costs for the 100 ml bottle. So I figured I would just live without it. I would live without it or I would wait until someone was tired of their bottle and then, then I would, you know, buy their used bottle or, you know, maybe wait for a big sale and then get it. But that never happened. And I feel like it's been a while now that it's been out, probably a year or so, and I still haven't bought it. So when I saw this come out, I was like, you know what? Let me give it a try because I like yum pistachio gelato, but not enough to drop all of the coin on it, right? But this one was so much more affordable. So that's also the thing I love about Arabian fragrances. You're not risking a whole lot when you purchase them because they don't cost a whole lot, right? But this one is sweet. I feel like it's a tiny bit nuttier than the original version of this, but it is beautiful, you guys. Like, if you like the original fragrance, you will love this dupe. You will absolutely love this dupe. It is absolutely worth the coin. And I think I saw it on Amazon. So if I find it on Amazon, I will put the link down below. Y'all, this is a good one. So yeah, those are the five new Arabian fragrances that I have in my collection. Six if you count Latafa Haya, but I kind of didn't want to count it because I did put it on my December perfume tray, but this is also not that old in my collection either. So I'm going to count the full six, okay? Six Arabian fragrances that I have added to my collection that I'm absolutely happy about. If I had to rate from my favorite to least favorite, hmm, I would say my favorite is absolutely this one the car i love this one like oh y'all i cannot wait to spray myself down with this i know i heard that a good layering combo for this is um bond number nine's 
Tribeca and I have it I have it so I'm really happy I'm gonna try that layering combo I feel like this will layer well with a lot of things if you want to bring out like the nuttiness in something you absolutely can layer this with the other fragrance but yeah I definitely want to try it with Tribeca from bond number nine I might try that right now hold on one second let me go get it okay I got it let's try it right now since we have each other okay since we're sitting here together let's <laughs> do a little scientific experience okay so i'm gonna spray tribeca just one just one and then oh i love tribeca it's so creamy and nutty then one little spray of that oh i like it now this is holding its own okay this is a very strong fragrance you can tell that there's a lot of oil in this fragrance it is a beast in projection and a beast in longevity this fragrance lasted on me seven hours and then i went to sleep so it could have even lasted longer than that this is a very concentrated oil fragrance but they smell good together they these two together are creamy and a little more nutty than this by itself because this also has hazelnut in it and cacao so this is a good combo i like it i think i saw this combo i can't remember where i saw it first but i definitely the last time i saw it was cheris tv i think her name is cherry sherry sweetheart so i think i saw that on her channel and i wanted to try it so i like it y'all i like it okay so that is my number one pick out of my new fragrances then i would have to say probably kiss a pink is number two then i would say my gold is number three and then it gets tough then i would have to say this is four i really really love it i love it this is four and i would say I don't know these are kind of tied in the fifth place but if you're gonna twist my arm I would say this is five and this is six only because this projects more I feel like I get more scent out of this than I do this and this kind of gives me a minty vibe and I'm not the hugest fan of rose so to be fair I don't like rose that much anyway and so that's why this would be last place but I think all of the fragrances are really high quality I think they're all really good I think they are all worth the coin and I'm happy that I have them all honey because <laughs> I'm gonna be spraying myself down okay we're gonna get the use out of all of these so thanks for sitting with me and going through my new fragrances I hope you learned something new or you found a new fragrance that you want to try okay I will try to list everything down below if you have not entered my fragrance giveaway for the winter time please do so I will go ahead and link that video above now please I hope all of you enter I can't wait to see who's going to be the winner I'm, I'm so, so excited, excited to give you the bottle of Viva La Juicy Gold Couture I really love that fragrance it is so highly complimented on me and I wear it a lot especially in the winter time so like comment share subscribe please subscribe to the channel it really helps me out so much i'm on my way to a thousand i really want to reach a thousand very soon and i know i can do it with you guys help so thank you so much you guys and until next time i love you love you love you love you